Hey, this is Jinzuru here, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. Now, I did uh, originally have the uh, the first game on my Steam account, uh, among other games, but of course, uh, <laughs> like uh, the many uh, plethora of games that I have on my Steam account, you know, it was kind of on sale, I bought it, and I never got around to playing it. Uh, so, you know, I was happy to hear that they were actually uh, coming out with a remake of it. To which uh, I know it's never going to be quite exact as the previous one, uh, especially in, in note of the gameplay. To which, you know, I watched the trailer for uh, this version of Call of Cthulhu, uh, but I never looked into um, how the gameplay is going to be you know exactly more of or at least the minute details about it so uh, you know kind of jumping in this partially blind partially blind I did go through the settings uh, for my card um, I've been trying to push the uh, like I have the GTX 970 by the way uh, I've been trying to push it a little bit further as far as terms of resolution until I get uh, you know a new graphics card thinking about getting the RTX uh, 1080, not 1080, 1080, <laughs> 2080T, and uh, just rolling with that, I might get the next version after that, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too much into the uh, the graphics cards, because, you know, we're here for Call of Cthulhu, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, and we're going we're gonna to see where this leads. Yeah, I'll take this empty slot here. Boston 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a det private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Uh, I guess I should have read the, <laughs> the opening. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. A little bit backwards there. Um. Okay, so uh, I'm wondering how long the chapters uh, themselves are going to be. Uh, I'm kind of wondering at what length I kind of want to section this game off. Uh, if the chapters aren't too particularly long, I'll just do them by chapter. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, good. Control already. Is this guy drinking absinthe? <laughs> oh, what we got here? The, the dead sharks. Are they all sharks? Okay, nothing around there. Probably not going to be much that I'm going to get in the beginning of the game. Crouch with B. Okay, so A for uh, checking everything else out. Let's go through here. It's kind of a weird smoothness to the uh, the controls here. I guess I'm supposed to be going that way. This is the door I was trying to get through. No, it's a different one. At least a different area. I guess I'm going around to see if I can get in there. What's this? We must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. So I can't see what's there. Ah! Alright, let me see something. It's kind of like the, the movement is a bit... It's a bit too smooth. 
It's kind of weird considering the camera sensitivity, sensitivity is kind of down. Uh, Oh, wait, there, there is a cross here. I thought I turned that on. Alright, let's go. Yes, I want to keep it. Alright, let's resume. I'll just have to adjust to that. Oh, it's dead in there. Oh, hello. I'll take it. Now, I kind of... I think it's the same, uh, yeah, the same room. Just, uh... See if anything was on the back end. In my wake, hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Oh yeah, that's the other way. You know, just in case, I want to pop this open. Can I pop it open? No, unless we do it from the other side. Okay. He's talking to me. Can I get this? No, it's not an item. Oh, the killer whale out here too? What a putrid offering. You're not saying I'm the offering, are you? You know, because uh, I'll pass on that. I like my life. You have been chosen. Keep drinking it. Let's see. Pierce Investigations Agency. My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed. And I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. Okay, what's this? Uh, okay, no, no. Okay, ah, for clues later. Information on the, information on the cult. Oh, wait, 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 what's this? Oh, okay, so I can, I can level abilities. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. That actually sounds like it would be pretty useful. Twitch, I'm probably going to need to up these a bit more. Uh, eloquence. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving this skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. Also important, spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving this skill increases your chance of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Okay. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chance of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. Oh, definitely. That's definitely a plus for me. I love picking locks. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Man, so... uh Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving the skill increases your chance of determining the dosage of a drug. 
of making a diagnosis or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Wow, this, this guy's the business. Well, not really right now. He's only, he's only got a couple twos and threes. But I'm probably going to need to work on these two quite a bit. I at least want to make it even across the board. So naturally, we don't, we don't get any points right now. Oh, no, go back. What about that sanity? Stable. Oh, it tells me where I'm at. That's good. Confident in your abilities of your Cartesian mind, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. So, uh, I guess throughout the course of this game, our mental state is going to change quite a bit. Um, how that is, we're going to find out. I don't I want to guess too much right now. Let's see, nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Muse Ergon offense. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Oh, he's definitely going to be coming back later. Alright, do we have anything on the uh, Pierce Investigation Agency, 20th of October, 1924? The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? That's, uh, that's Cthulhu, man. We're one of the worshippers. Yeah. Check my inventory. Looks like all we have is a lighter right now. My old lighter that I engraved in the memory of the 7th, 7th, 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Oh, so I can inspect it. Okay. Does anything new come up when I'm inspecting it? Looks like I can only rotate it in a circle. I can't uh, search all the way around. They're like, yeah, it's not Tomb Raider. <laughs> okay, what about... Uh, no, I'll go back. What about the knowledge? Okay, no knowledge? Alright, we can continue. I wonder why I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Oh, it happens, man. Body adapts. What we got here? Have a drink? No, no, we had, we had enough. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Okay, so it's going by the missions. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different. Un oh no, this is the same thing that I uh, went through. Let's turn you off. Okay. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Natural sciences, okay. linguistics, archaeology. So does that mean he naturally studies all this? I'll get to the phone. Just a good a old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. All right. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. When you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. That's a substantial amount of proof right there. So I assume as much. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had closed. All right, I don't want to leave you. I'll answer the phone in a second, but I kind of want to check everything else here. Can't get that. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. See, I want to kind of investigate everything, because I don't know if uh, doing that kind of helps me with the experience or not. I used to be an avid reader. 
but probably, uh, nah, I'd probably investigate most of this anyway. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Alright, is that everything? I believe that's everything. Where's the phone? There we go. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Okay, so uh, right now I have eight. Hmm, eight points to work into. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I needed two for that. Four for this one. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing now the other amounts for these. Um I need six for this one. No no, I need four. That'll work out. I can put two into this one. Or do I wanna go with this one? No, that needs four though. That's not gonna work. I need to go with the two. Yeah, that'll do it. And validate. Do you really want to validate this character point attribution? Yes, I do. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Looks like an old timer. Yeah, I see the bald head. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? 
I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, so I'm guessing it would have been an issue uh, if I had drank in that alcohol before. Okay, so... Uh, let's look down to the additional information. A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents compiled in order to know more about the case. Alright, so, um... Let's do that. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay, a shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out the part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article writing about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. I don't know about living in a place called Darkwater. Okay, so... Got that. Examine the Hawkins file. Alright, so let's check this out here. Oh, I gotta hold it down. It's strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh good, it's not timed. Let's see. Let's uh let's get a little additional information here. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Oh, so that's what he wants me to do. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Alright. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. I'm a private investigator, not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay, so, uh... I think that's all the information I need. I mean, does... Everything seems to dis... Highlight itself after I've gone through the topic, except for this one. So is there additional information? The sender's label mentions warehouse... That's right. And you uh, think that is it's not, It's the same thing. Alright, I guess that's all we need from this guy. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting 
sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Balls on that old man. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Oh good, okay, find out about dark water. Good thing I didn't drink from that glass. Uh let's see. Oh, it might be that book right there. You for dark water, find out about dark water. So what do we have? Okay, here we go. Stephen Webster, wealthy businessman, well respected in the Boston area. Uh, I already read through that. Charles Hawkins, ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater. The heir of a ship owner family, he used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Okay, Sarah Hawkins, whose occupation was a painter. Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society columnists. A wealthy Boston heiress known for her party going chooses to follow her now, her new husband, and live as a recluse on the island of Darkwater. She disappeared from the front pages of newspapers, and nobody heard any more about her. Even her death and a fire remained a secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, continued to seek the truth. So what about their son, though? Oh, wait, it said they all died in fire. S <laughs> Occupation schoolboy. <laughs> Only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. He died in the fire that claimed his whole family. Okay, art of Sarah Hawkins, intuitive and visionary artist for some, overpriced imposter for others, Sarah Hawkins le leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are a testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal upon the other dimensions. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Okay, so it's his own personal writings on the matter. I read the file, painting by Sarah Hawkins. This painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Oh, I don't even know this the kid in the background. <laughs> Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it is linked to the death of his daughter. Okay. Case solved. Okay, I already read through those. All right, so I think it's this book that I need to check out. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. See, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of this of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. What did they see or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Alright, I think we, uh, I didn't check out this book right here. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all the illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. How did I miss this book? Was it always sitting there? Okay, Island of 
dark water. It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospitable island whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs and sharp reefs, with only one outlet to the sea. It is mainly inhabited by the descendants of the whalers who set up a supply post there in the 1800s. It was hit severely by the collapse of this activity. I think that only, I think that only venture on the island that is still profitable is its medical institute. Okay, I have a medical institute. All right, that's all the information there. Let's see, did I miss anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Yeah, I believe that's it. So let, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, okay, so... Well, Chapter 1 was pretty fast. Let's see, Chapter 2, Dark Water Port. So I'm guessing when I leave for certain areas, then that kind of, you know, sets things up. It's relatively short though, so yeah, I think I will do these by the chapter. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll get, you know, more lengthy down the road. Um, but dang, it's kind of it's kind of hard to figure out like when it's gonna move on to the next chapter. I'm guessing uh, if I ever reach a point where I have to leave an area, I mean that might be it. Let's see, chapter two, Darkwater Port. I'm going to go ahead and read this because I don't know if uh, it'll actually show this text again. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an, adra yeah, adros, <laughs> an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's investigation. So I'm kind of wondering if I can... Uh... Yeah, so it doesn't let me go back. So yeah, I'm just going to have to wait till this uh, finishes and then start. Uh, kind of leave it there and head off to chapter... Uh when I get back. Scylla, I think it's pronounced. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. 
Ah, uh, nice young woman. And a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Oh, good man. Thanks for the information. I think I'll come and uh, check that out later. So I'm uh, guessing everything here goes by an autosave system. Which, uh, not quite sure how I feel about that, but, uh, you know, I'll deal with it. So I'm going to leave this here, and uh, when we get back, we're going to go around the docks and uh, kind of investigate what's going on. I'm probably going to talk to him first, because if there's any extra information I can get from him that I can use to, you know, ask the locals, it would be wise to go and talk to him first. So uh, when we get back, uh, yeah, we're going to find a little bit more about this place. Till then.